Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 FH18D2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG that we know and love as Fifi La Pew Pew. You might know it's a Leppy or a Leaf Blower. This one's located on the Westbourne of Berlin and it's under the command of Mr. B. Abusa. Okay, game's underway. Gun hasn't dropped, so he's still there. Okay, he's gone straight to the aim. He's not actually going to move away from this position, which means he's probably going to catch the enemy as they're um, deploying around the various places they go to. I think you can actually do this. You can fight from this position, although it wouldn't be uns uh, it wouldn't be safe for later on during the game when, of course, the um, uh, the enemy scouts might find you. Enemy's been spotted down in the south already. Those are the ones that went across the bridge. Headed down to the Reichstag. We still yet to see an enemy tank come this way. Oh, now there is an enemy tank nearby. It is a scout. And there's the 14TP. He's making a quick end run to try and get through. Well, first shot didn't work. And now he's run into a Valentine anti-tank. Who's keeping him there? Oh, and that one missed as well. But the 14 TP, well, that's a kill. That went right up his rear and blew him apart. So, first kill to Mr. B. Dialing in on a TOG. Now, TOGs really do not like premium shells. The, um, the heat rounds go straight through the armor. That guy's taking damage from several of us at the moment. Oh, look at this Churchill. Well, I don't think he's really in the battle at the moment. He's sitting over there doing nothing. And that went to the right. Still having trouble trying to get the mods to work. They just don't seem to want to give me the um, uh, reload time at all. It's showing me the um, the distance to target, but it just won't show the um, the, the standard uh, mods that sites that we uh, have come to love and enjoy the um, love and uh, um, enjoy the uh, Damocles site is the one that I tend to use. That was a penetrating shot, and there's the kill shot coming in from the gorilla. That's all over maximum range, that T28, so we can't hit him. So we do have to get a bit closer to the enemy. Can't get a shot on the TOG 2 at the moment. And we probably need to cross the river in order to get shots on the enemy in the south. Well, the TOG is gone. He is no more. And now we've got this Chi He hiding next to the wall, near to the right stack. Okay, stop for a moment. And the enemy Fifi just come into sight. Now, will he change the view to go after that one? We can't see the Chi He anymore, so nobody's spotting him. And as a consequence, we're wasting time on this target when we could be firing at another enemy yes and we missed the chance to kill that VP because uh, we were looking elsewhere if a target does go unspotted for a considerable period of time try and look exactly where your teammates are looking because <laughs> it could be they're just not looking in that direction and you're never going to gain sight of the target but he's now got two, two kills after taking care of the cruiser mark 4 and now he's got a third one just took out the T-34, rounds out the BK. That's the hit. One more, and that guy will be gone as well. Rounds out. No, wasn't quite on target. Next one could be if he gets it right. No. And the kill goes to the T-3485. I had a similar, uh, similar 
game like that just the other day, as you probably saw it actually. Uh, I managed to get seven kills overall, missed out on the eight kills simply because every time I fired at the bishop, the shell went where I didn't want it to go, landed alongside it, but didn't actually kill it. Rounds out from the SU-85i. That's another kill. That's four now. T-3485 backing into the corner. Close. Very close. Now we've got the Matilda, who's a one-shot. Oh, he got him with a snapshot as well. Okay, there's an RT over here. That We've got five kills. Can we get six? Missed the SU-122, but he's backing into the corner. The cover. Rounds out. Gets a hit. Okay, it's going to need follow-up. Rounds out. That was fully dialed in. And it didn't go anywhere near the aim point. But he's now aiming where he thinks the guy might be. And he got him. Gotcha. That's the top gun. And there's only one enemy left. It's the T-3485M. And he's on fire, literally. At least I think he was on fire. He may have been under intense fire from other people. And the game is over. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was a first class tanker for Mr. B in the Fifi. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 16. He got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And he got a top gun for getting at least six kills. His win eight in the game, 6,314, which is super unicum standard um, and a bit more. Let's have a look at team score. Well, the highest damage was 2,049 hit points. He was the only player who managed to get over 2,000. The next highest being the T3485M got 1,420, followed by the birds are on our team with 1,157. When it came to kills, he had that one too. Six kills went to Mr. B. Uh, two kills went to the T-3485, the OI, and the T-3485M on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he got that one too. So he's got the top in all three columns. In fact, he's the only player to get over 1,000 base with 1,075, with second place going to the T-3485 of 697, and the VK-3002M on our team got 692. He fired only 24 rounds, so less than half of his ammo. Got 11 direct hits, 4 penetrating shots, and 11 splash. Damage of 2,049, all of it of more than 300 meters. So, can we tell which ones he actually penetrated? Well, I would have thought that cruiser 4, but funnily enough, it wasn't. That, that wasn't a pen. How about the 14 TP? Yeah, it went right through the rear of that one, so blew him to pieces. Um, he didn't get that one, but did he get the... Yes, the SU-85... 323 hit points. Basically, it's a Stug uh, that's been changed to use for the Soviets. And the SU-122A, yep, that was a pen, which only leaves one other, and that was the Giro, 427 hit points. It hit the side of the vehicle where the armor is weakest and went straight through that one instead. So, 10 enemy vehicles damage, 6 killed, 743 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he made a profit of 29,352 credits, got 25 bonds for a mission achievement, and 2,257 experience points altogether. So, yes, he was actually, uh, he got this Top Gun whilst he was texting a family member at the same time. Talk about multitasking. Uh, that might explain why there was a sudden stop or gap between him uh, uh, actually uh, uh, firing because uh, he wasn't because he was waiting for something to shoot at. He was actually uh, waiting because he was actually typing out on a text instead. Um, yes, I try not to uh, um, divide my attention, but I know with some fat people, uh, they've got their family trying to contact them or their little boy or little girl runs into the room where daddy's playing and suddenly interrupts them. And it can be a little difficult then focusing and concentrating on what you're supposed to do uh, when somebody else in the family is with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one because we've now got a second battle, also in the Fifi, by a different member of What RT Noobs. So let's have a look at that replay.
The second replay is on the Westbourne of Safe Haven, and this time round the commander is Rocket to me of what university? Two marks of excellence on the barrel of that 105mm. It's capable of doing 410 alpha and 53mm of pen with a 1.91b to burst radius and a standard reload of 8.92 seconds. But I think he's got a lot faster than that, but we still haven't got the mods working. So unfortunately, I can't tell you precisely what his reload time is. Oh, that was a brilliant first shot. Skoda T25 going full speed. He managed to nail the engine deck, although didn't actually pen. Only managed to get 172 out of him, but that's still a lot of damage for a flyby, you might say. And that guy was going, oh my gum, I just got hit. Thank goodness for him uh, that his track wasn't disabled because if his track had gone down, I'm pretty sure Rocket to me would have dealt with him and finished him off. Well, there's a few enemy tanks have actually gone into the tunnels. But no other enemy actually inside other than those. And there are some in the field as well. We can now see those. It's starting to pop up, up in the hills. It might be worth looking in that direction to try and get a few shots. We can't see the OI because it's behind the factory, but there are definitely some enemies in the other direction. In fact, the enemy RT is firing this direction as well. They're firing at our guys. Okay, fully dialed in, changes his mind, and we've got an event going on. Which I think is a bombing raid of some kind. Okay, M4A3, easy eight. It's going slowly up the hill. Fires this round in. Oh, very close. Didn't get any damage. But it was close. Rounds out. Well, nearly. That Chaffee's moving very, very quickly, trying to avoid getting hit, but I don't think he's going to last very long. He's now going to meet three enemy tanks, all of which are going to want to take it out on him. Unfortunately, we did lose one of our own. We lost the T-3485M, and it was uh, the enemy T-78 that got him in the end. Now their EC-8's gone down. You can see the enemy art is... Uh, Putting considerable pressure on our guys in the um, southwest corner. Rounds out in the bishop. Oh! Well, the guy hesitated for a second, but he still managed to get hit. And we're lining up another one. Just behind him. And he's working on the basis the guy's still there, because he's not the only one firing in that direction. Our other RT is. And oh, we did get a hit there. He definitely got struck, and the kill shot goes to our teammate, it also in the PP. So now we're going to lay in on the OI experimental. One thing you can do is put the marker on the target. It tells your teammates that you're going for that um, target. I had a couple of games earlier today where nobody was actually making any notification. Well, he's got the kill now. That's a kill. Yes, if, if nobody actually indicates which target they go for, the chances of them both going for the same target is fairly high, actually. Um, if you mark which was your target, the enemy RT, well, not the enemy RT, your teammate might decide not to go for that target, but to hit a different one instead. But um, I have had on a few occasions where if you mark the target, your teammate goes for it as well, and you get two RT shells hitting the target in turn, and that actually leads to getting assist for your fellow RT. Because if one RT hits him and uh, stuns him, then another RT hits him immediately after that, then it just keeps on following up. So uh, you end up getting assistance or giving assistance to somebody else. Okay, Strip 74 makes a quick dash. A little late on that one, but it almost got it okay we've marked the strip or somebody's marked it 
They want that one dealt with. Oh, and there's a VK just down there. We didn't see him. He's actually in the factory where it got destroyed. And you can also see just in the distance there was the enemy VP. Because the enemy RT had um, the enemy had three RTs as well. All three of ours are still alive. It's a gorilla and two VPs. The strip's gone down. Is that VK? Yes, it was actually just beyond that factory. Over to the right there. Can we get the Skoda? This is the one that we hit earlier. Backs up a little. Now he's going down the ramp. Oh, that was close. It's, it did um, splash him. And there's the enemy Fifi coming into sight. We splashed him again. Now, can we get a direct hit on this one? Fully dialed in. Rounds out. Oh, wonderful shot. One shot hit and he's out. So that's two kills now for Rocket to me. And now we've got a Stug G. Okay. He's going to have to stay still just for a second. Well, he's going to go in. Oh, he went all in. And there's the Skoda come back again. Oh, now what happened to that shell? It looks like these shells of ours are actually impacting on the wrecks. But I think that Stug is instead now. Yes, I think he was disabled. And the shell came in and Rocket Sumi got the kill. It was a fully dialed in one, the last one. And so it was absolutely bang on target. There's only four enemies left now. Two tank destroyers, one medium, the Skoda T25, and one RT. Now, the RT that's remaining on the enemy team is their gorilla. There's the T78 up in the hills. Okay. He's been damaged from both tracks. Let's see what we do. We fire long. Okay. He's firing at our RT at the moment. Now, can we get a hit? Fired snap. That was close. Almost fully dialed in. He's just taken out our rubber RT. No, slightly firing to one side. He's trying to anticipate his movement. That's it. That looks good. Oh, it now hits. Didn't, didn't penetrate. And now we can't see him because we've got no tanks looking in that direction. The, the Skoda's coming straight for us. He's taken out our Griller, which means we're now the last arty on our team. And he can only come around that corner. But he is going to come around rather fast. And of course, he has thin armor as well. So we should be able to deal a fair bit of damage to him. Oh! Well, we're going to take some damage now from the enemy. Staying in Avu. And still nailed him, though. And the enemy RT is now having a go at us. Of course, I said earlier that that's a gorilla. He's going to see that fence go down, but he's not going to know exactly where we are because the whole fence went down, not just a bit of it. Okay, going for the T-78 again. He's fully dialing in. He's trying to make it as accurate as he can. That rock is actually getting in the way. So close. Still got plenty of ammo. Okay. Yeah, that rock there is a real nuisance. And we just lost our Bursa. And now it's just two on our team. And oh, well, it was. It's two on two now. It, I was about to say it's two on our team, three on the enemy. But no, he nailed that guy as well. Now, can he nail this SU-85? He stopped. Is he taking a hit? No. He stopped because I think he knew that we could see him. And he's trying to sneak up on us. And that didn't work because the Jackson got him instead, which now means there's only one enemy left. It's the Artie, the Gorilla. And we know how porous they can be if you get a shell on them. Thin armor. Your assistance has been requested. We've got five kills at the moment. So if we get another one, we get a top gun. And our teammate, the one we're pretending with, has got three kills. 
Uh, but unfortunately, we're not going to get a BIA because that guy is already dead. So it's just us and the Jackson. But it might help that guy in the strip or uh, Rocket to me to actually get a, um, um, a, a medal, not a medal, but a um, mission completion for winning a battle, having at least uh, nine kills between the platoon. I think those missions normally are work on the basis that you actually are both still in the battle to pick up the BIA. Jackson's coming in. Oh, he's actually to our... There he is. Hello. Well, he fired at us and we fired at him, but he's got a long reload and we're turning quickly. Big arrow on him. That's my target. That's how you do it. <laughs> Nicely done. Jackson, you turned up too late. Well, I thought that was rather good because he had two replays where both players managed to get uh, high calibers and ace tankers. and Well, not both got ace tankers, high calibers and top guns. In this game, Rocket Toomey managed an ace tanker game. Not his first, he's had them before. He also managed to get a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this game. He managed to get 12. He got a Starks medal because, of course, he managed to kill at least two enemy tanks, received damage of approximating two-thirds of his hit points, uh, and uh, at least two hits, by the way, because uh, you have to take two hits in order for it to work. And, of course, uh, he managed to survive the battle, still be alive at the end. And, yes, they are difficult to get. As many a time I thought that I got a Starks, turned out I'd only been hit once, not twice. Even a, a bounce shell will actually count, um, even if you um, block it. It will still count on the Starks. But uh, yes, he didn't get uh, he did get it in this game and a high caliber of dealing the most damage in the game and the top gun for getting at least six kills. His win eight from this one, nine thousand and fifty eight, which is super unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he definitely got the highest damage, two thousand one hundred and fifty seven hit points. Second highest damage was the T-150 on his team, one thousand six hundred and twelve, but he didn't survive. And the third highest damage, well, that went to the Baguette Panther with 1,561, and he didn't survive either. When it came to kills, we can see Top Dog was Rocket to me. Six kills to him. Three kills went to the Strip 74 on our team. And on the enemy team, the Skoda T25, who learned a very big lesson about trying to get behind an enemy RT. Yes, you don't let them turn to face you, because if they do, then you get killed. Uh, T-78 as well got three kills. And when it came to base XP, yep, he's got that one too. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,184 base experience points to Rocket to me. 1,006 went to the Baguette Panther. And 801 went to the T-150. So two players managed to get over 1,000 base in the game, but it was Rocket to me who got the high score. He fired 29 rounds, so he still had 21 rounds spare at the end of the game. 11 direct hits, 6 penetration shots, 11 splash, 2,157 hit points, of which 1,690 were up more than 300 meters. The close shots being, of course, the Skoda and, of course, that Gorilla right at the end. Two hits received, one a penetrating shot, one a non-penetrating shot, and one hit by way of splash. The uh, non-penetrating shots, well, he was lucky in that one on the uh, the um, guy who actually hit him, the Skoda, uh, didn't manage to finish him off. And as a consequence, he got him in return. Uh, the, the, the hit by way of splash was the Gorilla. And again, he left it. He didn't, um, he fired too quickly and he wasn't fully dialed in on the target. And consequently, it was a bit of a snap and it didn't work. If it had hit, uh, rocket to me would have been wiped out completely one enemy vehicle spotted seven enemy vehicles damaged six killed 296 hit points of damage assistance on a premium count he actually made a profit of 47,213 credits from this game 
And he also took away 13,142 experience points after completing a mission, which earned him 10,656. So that's a very good haul indeed. But yes, some interesting moments in that battle when you when you get a situation like that and you get uh, close encounters not of the third kind of the enemy kind um, at close quarters and it does show how you can actually take the uh, um, the stress of being in close contact with the enemy uh, that he actually was cool enough to actually know that he could change and uh, pivot to actually get round on that Skoda and then he followed the um, the gorilla. It, I was just the one tip I would say on the gorilla though is that it sometimes is quicker to reverse and turn at the same time because that t tends to bring it round faster than if you try to uh, just pivot on your own. I think if you try that out, um, something actually I wouldn't mind um, uh, asking Steve uh, Walsh to actually prove because I'm pretty sure it is. We are faster moving backwards and turning at the same time rather than going forwards and turning because um, even though you go faster forwards and slower backwards i think the rate of change going backwards is faster so something we can try out just for a change but two great games two two moments where uh, you know things get rather uh, hectic and um, yeah quite a good game i thought if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like, please do. And uh, do leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.